Okay, so we've made it on over to the old Rob Vegas Technology Center, and of course we have ourselves another Snake Eyes here, and this time it's 1993 Ninja Force Snake Eyes. So Snake Eyes is grabbing the trophy, taking command of Ninja Force, barking out orders at the top of his voice, and here he is in 1993 version. Now, of course, we've got the figure here. We've got all the accessories that came with him, which came on one of those big old accessories trees where you had to sort of cut them out or twist them around to get them out, all of that sort of stuff. And the figure itself and a file card. So we're going to frenzy that up in a second. But let's just take a moment to just go, Snake Eyes, what happened? Like, we had some good Snake Eyes figures along the lines, along the road, along the journey. We had some great Snake Eyes figures. And this one, he just looks a bit off, doesn't he? And, of course, he doesn't have, he's not no ring figure, because he just isn't. And that could really have elevated this to being a good Snake Eyes figure. But... Even the mask and stuff, it all looks a bit, I don't know, a bit off. Like, yeah, he's got his blue colour that we were talking about in um, the 1991 Snake Eyes. Because he had his blue stripes down his pants and his blue shirt and things like that. And his funky red mask and his um, silver, you know, faceplate thing. That was cool. But yeah, this one, he just looks a bit off. And of course, the design of the figure, you can see, like if you look at his shoulders, he's just, like, that doesn't seem like quite proportionate in terms of body shape and things like that. And it appears, of course, as I said, he's not no ring figure, so he's got, he does you can't twist him at the waist or anything because his body is one piece. And of course, that is to allow for the hardcore kung fu gripping ninja action that is this. So you squeeze his legs, like you push his legs like that, and his arms do this. Like he's just sort of flailing around, he's just like... Ree. It's almost like he got hit on the head by the Baroness or something a few too many times. Now the accessories, you get two of these claws. It looks like like one of these, these well, one of them originally came with, uh, I think it was 1988 Storm Shadow when Storm Shadow became a good guy. But now we get two of them and it looks like maybe Snake Eyes is cooked up like a pork roast or something like that and he wants to you know shred it up you know like pulled pork so he's got those on the go got some swords another sword a knife and a pair of those things, which if I say what they are, it will be banned in the United Kingdom for promoting violence. Anyway, let's have a look at the file card for Snake Eyes 1993. Of course, codename Snake Eyes, he's back. File name classified. Primary military specialty infantry. Secondary military specialty is hand to hand combat instructor. So there is some synergy there. That's good because the last one he was doing that. Now he is, however, a covert mission specialist, which you can see there. So he's not going commando this time. It says, the quote, Move with the wind and you will never be heard. I wonder if he wrote that or anything or he told Chibang about that. Because, um, anyway, moving forward. 
Snake Eyes excelled in long-range recon patrols and high-risk covert missions in Southeast Asia. His success was based on his ability to use everything from trees to fog when making himself virtually invisible, even to skilled Cobra Ninjas. I wonder how many Cobra Ninjas were in Southeast Asia. He perfected his mystical martial arts techniques with the same ninja clan that trained Storm Shadow. Snake Eyes was living a self-disciplined, tranquil life in the High Sierras when Hawk recruited him for G.I. Joe team. Since then, he has proven himself an invaluable asset to the ninja force and one of the fiercest fighting menaces against all Cobra legions. So there you go. Look out for Snake Eyes Cobra. You get a nice sort of portrait of him. But again, this is this is not your best Snake Eyes, is it? Like the one with Timber's probably your best, but um and especially with just the blip 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 blip. Yeah. Yeah, this ain't your best Snake Eyes. But it is a Snake Eyes nonetheless, and that's what we are covering this week. Look, this ninja from the core can probably kick this Snake Eyes' ass. Let's see how that pans out. Oh, look out. Core Ninja. Hang on. Well, there we go. Snake Eyes' special martial arts technique prevails. So, that's a win for him. Anyway, we are going to keep on keeping on with Snake Eyes action. So, stay tuned. And I will see you in the next video. Let me know if you had any of these 1993 Ninja Force figures. And, um, yeah, shout it out loud in the comments below. Want to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Stay cool, everyone, and I'll see you soon. Computer! Computers! Computers! Crystal Ball says like and subscribe and leave a comment. <laughs>